If we check the weekly time frame for quant, we see that price retraced into this moving average ray, you can call it. It's just all of my moving averages together. It's just looking like a ray of moving averages. And again, we just need to hold it as support for the continuation to break this high over here. But of course, uh, we know that there's a level that we're currently struggling with. So we will go through that in today's update. We want to invalidate this bearish descending triangle, this bearish dead cap bounce. And all we need to do is hold $100 hold these moving averages, which of course are above $100. And let's go ahead and break this high, which is also our bear market box. Remember, $150 to $160. We've got that because $150 brought us the price of $450. Understand that we found support here, continue to there. And I was saying all the way through the end of 2021, if we lose this head and shoulders neckline, we're going to $70 now. I got trolled a lot of times because we did just miss it, pump 100% all the way back to 150, 160. And they were like, haha, Louis, you were wrong. We're going to go up now. But I was also warning everyone, we must now close above 175, if you remember, if you've been here since back then. We were talking about this head and shoulders neckline that we also need to reclaim. Otherwise, we're going to see dumps from either 150 or the head and shoulders neckline. So we got the two dumps from 150. Yes, we met my $70 target, but we were talking about this head and shoulders neckline because we came into it again over here. And so luckily I managed to tell you guys all to get out of quant up here. Wow, amazing. If you were here for that, leave a comment down below to tell me you made money. And uh, if you if you missed out that move, but you were here, let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, Louis, I should have listened to you and whatnot. So. Before we actually started dumping, I was already saying your buyback should be about $120. It was where we had some moving averages on the daily time frame, I think it was, yeah, about here. But then when we lost it, it was very negative, guys. We came back into here. I was warning that, uh, to everyone, this is a massive shoulder, head and shoulders. And once you lose $100, we're, we're, we're going down. We came all the way to $100 and never lost it. So we did not get the validation of this massive head and shoulders pattern. Now, there's still potential chance that actual, actually this is the right shoulder and not this. At the moment when we were creating that, yes. And so it had the chance of breaking out. No, it did not. Then we've come up to the dead cat bounce scenario that we were actually calling for all the way since November over here. So four months later, it's actually happened exactly as we said. So we were saying that we could come all the way up to this 786 and still go lower. So in actual fact, you should be coming to the golden pocket. And so this is what we were saying on the channel for four months straight and not, not a lot of people wanted to hear it. We were saying that we can come up all the way to, to the 786 up here because that's, that's the truth. So I'm gonna show you a quick chart on XRP. Well, don't worry, it's not an XRP video, but uh, from the low, to the high, look, you're meant to stop over here on this golden pocket, 0 0.5, 0 0.618. Where did we dump to? Right there on the 786, where we pumped up. Yes, we rejected, but did we lose the 786 on the second time? No. So it's going to give us this opportunity over here, give us this opportunity to actually head back to the range highs. Do you see? And that's all because we bounced off the 786 and we are trying to reclaim the golden pocket. You see that? So when you, you see we're running into it as resistance, we dump, now we're trying to find support within it to break the highs. So this is something we need to see with quant, of course. So we don't want that to be the case of quant, sorry. That can happen as we're showing. So you can push through the golden pocket here, head up to the 786, and as we're seeing with XRP right now, it's trying to reclaim it to head back to the lows. And But for XRP, it's just the opposite, the highs, okay? So it's literally the same thing here. In this case, we just need to push through those golden pockets. I don't know why I have such a big one on the chart. I'm gonna get rid of that because yeah, it was getting a bit too confusing, but we're talking about 146 and 163. Now, the reason why I have these smaller fibs as we go and zoom in on the daily time frame, uh, we, we, we are still talking about this uh, descending triangle. We just need to try and invalidate it. Now let's show you the path in invalidating the descending triangle or the dead cap bounce that we see ourselves, uh, yeah, uh, see ourselves in at the moment. If you are enjoying the video so far, please do go ahead, smash the like button guys to bump that algorithm, comment down below. That's the only way we grow the channel, unfortunately. It's annoying that I have to ask you every day, 
But yeah, I don't want to have to ask you guys every day, of course. So please just go ahead, you know what to do. As soon as you come onto the video, just smash that like button. I do that with every YouTube video I watch. In the past, no, I never used to like videos I was, <laughs> for some reason. And then when I started making videos, I started liking absolutely every single video. <laughs> just because I want everyone else to do that for me. You know, give what you want. Give what you want to get in return. But um, from the top to the bottom, when we were retracing down here, we were saying we don't want to lose this level of 136 if we want to get this quick continuation onwards and upwards back up to the highs over here. It wasn't the case. We lost the level. We lost our 136 level. And so we were saying do not lose this wick low over here around one well just a little bit above $125 but very nicely in line with our 128 uh, resistance over here which is our left shoulder resistance if you remember me talking about last week so going back to where we are at the moment you can see that we did not lose the low and with that it gives it's giving us this opportunity to reclaim this level so this is something that we actually just explained in the bitcoin update and again all of you here should have just come around or just come from the bitcoin update giving you a much clearer picture of what quant's going to do we were talking about four fundamental news events that are going to happen this week in the bitcoin update so go ahead and check that out and again always bump that algorithm over there as well so continuing on with quant it's reclaimed that level that we said do not lose and if we don't lose it we will just continue up well we've reclaimed it so surely if it just keeps holding a support we will continue up in fact yes however because we came deeper we've set this new low down here right there so I need to go ahead and measure from there to there and it's giving me the golden pocket which is the resistance that we're struggling with at the moment and this is the level that we need to go ahead and break above $143 to $148. If we see daily candle closes above this level, then we are onwards and upwards trying to head back up to our range high, 163. So that's how we create the reversal wave. If you do manage to create the reversal wave and find support over here, then we are looking at towards $174 to $190. What does that tie up into? That 786, which we've been talking about since November down here. So let's see if Quant can now get up to 190, as we've been saying for four months straight. Then we're going to eventually have a nasty old big correction. Yes, the correction can happen from here. We spoke about it in last week's video, but if this is the case where we are breaking out, let's see if the fundamental news events allow us to do so. But if we do actually break out over here, again guys, 786 is, has been a target since November, which is $190. Again, this is where I'd finally expect a correction. Doesn't mean that it will of course happen. We need to wait for the clear, concise signs. If it does happen from up here, I'm gonna put on my fibs, it's gonna tell me the levels we can't lose which will most likely be down here, 130-ish. So you could come after hitting 190, come back down to 130-ish. It's not, not the end of the world, essentially. And we can still head up onwards and upwards. There's a long road ahead, guys. I'm going to be here absolutely every day. Do not worry. Apart from the weekends, you know, that's my time off. But um, yeah, don't worry. Just keep supporting the channel. And uh, um, yeah, we'll keep looking at quant day by day. But for the moment, you reclaim that level, which is beautiful. Again, once we lost it, we're saying we're heading back to the range lows, lose the range low, we're gonna have this deeper correction. We placed the fibs last week from the low to the high. We were essentially saying going forward, we just need to remain above this level over here and price should continue up. And beautifully, that is the level we came down to for quant. You can see right down there, we came back down to the 200 moving average on the daily time frame. You didn't exactly touch it, but look where the 200 moving average it was. It was in between the golden pocket. After a big push up like this, you're meant to retrace to the golden pocket in which we did so, bouncing off the 200, bouncing off the golden pocket, reclaiming the 55 and the 69, reclaiming the 20 and the 12. Wow, it's doing all the signs, uh, um, early signs to start heading up and breaking above this golden pocket. Again, there's no guarantee of doing so, but as long as you're above one, two, three, four, and five, all five of these moving averages, price should continue higher. Look, the moment it got above the moving averages over here, price went higher, so we were below, we were below 
we reclaimed it, we reclaimed that one too, so surely we should get an, a slingshot motion upwards. This is what we want to see going forward, but again, the fundamental news events which we explained in today's Bitcoin update can of course harm this. And so going forward, we know that this is the golden pocket that we don't want to lose. We can come down to the 786, which I explained last week, $111. And again, at the beginning of the video, and also since back down here in December, we've been saying the moment you lose $100, on the daily time frame, you're wiping out a psychological level of support, and so we are going to dump. But as long as we are above $100, this is not the case. We are not dumping. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe, and comment. If you want to take action on the course, the mentorship, and be part of my Discord community, which we just shared a crypto that in the last two days has pumped over 100%, which again, you could just take profits from when you're happy. Uh, if you want to be part of the community where we're sharing all of this, then please do private message me on my new Twitter. I will link it down below. I'll also pin it in the comments as well. So you just hit that link and message me as soon as possible so you can get into this chat. So you're not missing out on the gains because again, one of these cryptos is up 30% yesterday and up 30% today. Thank you guys.